Hello guys, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing some hidden secrets that you may not have noticed about this picture that shows the suits of the ninja. And also, I will also be doing my thoughts on it, as I never really did that before. And of course, this uh, uh, the idea for this video came off of a channel called Spitbricks. Really cool channel, you should definitely check him out, he's a really cool channel. One of my favorite channels on YouTube. But... In this video, I'm going to be going over some things you may not have noticed about the the new ninja suits slash this picture or <coughs> anything else. Sorry, guys. Um, <coughs> if I sound a little bit sick, because I am a little bit sick. But okay, so let's get into this. So first off, guys, you may notice these symbols. I'm not sure what like language or what culture they're from, but notice how like Kai, he's got four of them. Kai's element is fire, so I'm betting this means fire. And look, Nia's element is water. There's five. Jay, I would imagine, would have enough for lightning. Zayn has enough for ice. Lloyd doesn't have enough for energy for some reason, because, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And energy... I don't, I don't understand. And you can imagine Cole would have five for Earth. Which, that's really cool. That's something I did not notice when I first looked at this picture. <clears throat> also, guys, you may not notice, have noticed about Kai, he has a, a bandage on his head, which, I, I don't know how I didn't notice this. I looked at Kai's face so many times, I didn't even notice this. And it's awesome that they made it show, so even with his hair piece on, you still see it. That's really cool. Also, guys, these things in the background, that's two pieces. So if we get those in a set, that would be really, really cool. Because it's two pieces connecting together to make the symbol, which I actually really, really like. And now, <clears throat> my thoughts on the new suits. Uh, I Okay, so I guess we'll just start with the Order of the Ninja. So first off, Kai. Um, I think for Kai, uh, he he's, he's very interesting. Uh, kind of similar to um, Nia and Lloyd in his uh, torso design. Uh, and I felt like his suit, <clears throat> um, his, uh, his legs, his leg piece, and his ninja mask would clash with uh, his red torso, but I have seen some images. Uh, I don't think it will on the actual minifig, although I can't, still can't imagine it not clashing. Uh, also, I, you can of course notice the ninja's faces are so much different. They're, 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 they're very different, which is interesting, <laughs> that's for sure. Kai, I like that they kept his scar. That's really cool, because his scar, that's a thing that... Um, was on him, you know, on the original minifig and stuff. So uh, that's cool that they kept, that he kept his determined look. His face looks pretty much the same. Also, the hair pieces, they're different. Kai's just seems to be a little bit taller, not too much change to it. It's just a little bit taller. Uh, and also, the ninja masks, the actual masks, um, I don't have an image of them ready, but um, like right here, you can kind of see that's what the masks will look like. So you can imagine that, of course, you know, switching colors around. Now, uh, next ninja, Jay. You can't really see him blocked a little bit by Nia and Lloyd, but uh, he does look pretty interesting. Um, he has some clashing colors on him. He has orange on him, which is strange, because that's literally the exact opposite color of blue. But okay. Um, yeah, he has that on his legs and a little bit on his torso. He also has some, like, thing over his torso. You can see this right here. It's like some, like, I don't know, like a, a utility type Thing over his torso. Blocks some of the symbols on his chest, it seems. Also, his face, he looks upset uh, in this picture, which Jay is never really upset. And also, he has freckles, which he, does, he, he did not have on the original thing. And I have heard he's going to be like the insecure ninja, who's always like tidying up his hair and stuff, which is the exact opposite of the Jay we know. <laughs> and then his hairpiece, so much, like, it's, it's so different. His original hairpiece is just this clean, smooth hairpiece, and now this hairpiece, it's all over the place. Just look at that. There's just all these tangles and curls around it. It looks so different. But now, next ninja, Cole. He's a little bit uh, blocked. The seam kind of cuts him out a little bit, unfortunately. <coughs> but he does look really cool. Uh, and he looks like a really nice minifig. He has some uh, really cool design on his legs, his leg piece, his torso. You can't really see it very good, but uh, from what we can see, I think it looks pretty cool. He also seems to be a, a like a very strong character, because um, you can see right here from his chest that's showing. 
like his muscles and stuff. And also, uh, he has a wristband. <coughs> he has a wristband similar to Lloyd. So that's pretty cool too. His face, very, very different. He looks like he just does not want to be here, which is the opposite of what Cole is. So that's crazy. And then his hairpiece, uh, they kept the color, unlike Jay. I mean, his color was changed. I, I, uh, he was the only ninja's hair color that was changed because his is more of a, uh, um, what would you call it? I don't know what you'd call it, like a, um, I can't remember what the, the term for it is, uh, but, um, the Cole's hairpiece, he kind of has like a little bun in the back, and he also has it going around his whole head, looks very different than normal Cole, because he just has kind of the, um, I guess you consider it the swag hairpiece, <laughs> but yeah, that's <coughs> very interesting. Now on to Zane, you can see most of Zane, he's the ninja you can see the most besides Kai. Um, because Lloyd's arm's slightly blocking him a little bit cool. But, you know, um, his legs look very robotic. I like that they went with a very robotic feel to Zane. That's really cool. Just look at this. That looks so robotic to me. And then he, he has it so different than the other ninja. They just have it casually sitting like a kimono on with these three. And Zane, he just has it, like, super tightly wrapped, which is really cool. And then he also has a belt, which holds some stuff. I don't know what he has. And then his face, he has, like, bright blue glowing eyes. Of course, he has the yellow face. He's not titanium in this movie. Uh, and also, you may notice he has hair printing on the side of his head, which we haven't seen since, like, the NBA players from, I think it was, like, 2003. Um, and then he has pretty much the exact same hair piece he would normally have, except it doesn't have any sides on it. It's kind of just, like, on the top of his head. And then he just has the printing. For the rest of the hairpiece. Looks very interesting. Very different. <coughs> now, on to Lloyd. So, you can't really see his legs. Uh, there's some printing that you can a little, like, slightly see. First belt piece. Very cool kimono with symbols on it and uh, lots of stuff. And this very shiny look there, which I really like. Also, his arms have the same kind of thing like this pattern. And it also has, you know, the wristband similar to Cole. His face, he has green eyes, although in another picture he actually had black eyes, which is strange. And he has brown eyebrows in this picture, and another one he had black eyebrows, so that's interesting. Uh, his hairpiece is slightly different. It's a little bit changed to kind of look more, I guess, more smooth and clean, probably. Um, also, he looks like he's, he looks like he's just, <sighs> he has, like, the hugest ego ever. Like, his face looks so much like he has, like, this huge ego. So we'll see how that plays out in the movie. And now on to the final ninja, Nia. So you can see, uh, I actually really like Nia's design. Um, I think that it's one of the best designs from the movie. <coughs> um, and she has, uh, uh, probably these would be considered shoes. Well, the ninja has footprinting is Zane. So I guess these are probably shoes on her. And she has, uh, I guess, like a skirt piece kind of, but not really. Which looks awesome. I love the prints on that. It might not be prints, because I, I believe it's probably going to be a cloth piece. So it's not prints, but... And then her kimono. Awesome! She has this new color scheme. Because before, it was, um... Originally... Um, her color scheme on Ninja was... Or, or with Ninja. Her Ninja color scheme. Uh, it was maroon red and light azure blue. And now she has kind of a... Little bit of a lighter blue... And she has the gunmetal color that she was seen with on Hands of Time. Um, and no maroon red. <coughs> Very interesting. She also has, like, elbow pads on her arms, which is really cool looking. And she looks really, really determined. Like, super determined. She also has, like, one little, like, I don't know what you'd call it, but... Like, on the side of her face. And then also her hair. Very different. Instead of being kind of like a uh, smooth, clean um, thing going down her entire head. It's now this big, much bigger hairpiece that has, like, a bun in the back of it. And you can see it's actually wrapped up. I like that they painted that. It looks really cool. But, yeah, guys, that is the <coughs> <coughs> uh, new ninja's secret things you may not have realized about it or seen on it. May not have noticed, I guess. And, as well, my thoughts on it. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I want to like for you. If you like this sub for most of any future videos on my channel, or to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link in the description. And with that being said, guys, goodbye.